warning, sensitive sexual assault, uh, I'll have to talk about in this video, so, since if you're sensitive to that, skip this video. Without further ado, The Last House on the Left remake, as Mary and Paige get brutalized, but Mary escapes, and her parents get revenge on the tormentors. So, the positives on this film are, uh, it has way better film quality. Uh, it looks really good. It doesn't look cheap like the original. The intro to the movie uh, starts off with a bang. Uh, Krug is in the back of a police car, and and a car just crashes into the cop car. Uh, it shows how... S uh, this intro shows how sadistic and evil uh, they are right off the bat. Krug shows a picture of the cop's kids while uh, he's dying. And... Uh, and, and he says something you'll never see again. Like, oh my god. Like, right off the bat, bat sadistic. Um, and evil. And, and that they're not campy. Um, Krug also makes Mary tell Paige she's gonna be fine when she's clearly dying. And, unfortunately, Paige does die. So, uh, it really shows how sadistic these people are. Uh, there's much more character development. Justin has uh, his mother die. Uh, Mary's brother died. Um, and also, Mary is a smart character. She guides Krug closer to her house. Uh, unlike in the original where they just stumble upon Mary's house. Like, oh, it just so happened to be right there. Um, so, I really liked that. that. Mary was a really smart character. Um... Um, uh, she also uses a cigarette lighter to burn one of the tormentors. Uh, this movie is, take this with a grain of salt, but, uh, this movie is much more enjoyable, uh, since Mary actually survives and her parents have to protect Mary in the second half of the film. Uh, I like that the dad is a doctor. Uh, they have to... Uh, with him being a doctor, they have that, uh, he fixes Francis's nose, and, um, uh, he heals, uh, Mary when she finally gets back to her house, um, and, and, uh, he paralyzes Krug at the end of the film, so that was really interesting. The, uh, the reveal of Justin finding out that the picture on the fridge is, Mary is great. Uh, it was a great reveal. Um, it's awesome. Unlike the original, where it's like, they find the picture and it's like, look whose house we're at! Like, like that was really go goofy. Uh, where it was like a joke to them. Here it's like actually serious. Um, and, and the last positive is, the revenge side of the movie is awesome. Uh, the fight between Dad and Francis is really good uh, and brutal. This is... And this is what uh, what I've been talking about. This is what the Purge series uh, and the Belko experiment all should have been. Brutal, but bloody fights. Ironically, the Belko experiment also has Tony Goldwyn, Tony Goldwyn in this... In the Last House on the Left remake and in the Belko experiment. So that was kind of interesting. Um, so the brutal bloody fights in this are what the Purge and the Belko experiment should have been. Uh, but anyways, you also get the fight in the bathroom with Sadie, which is good. But the climax is the fight between the dad and Krug. That is awesome. Uh, it's brutal and bloody. Um... It, it's a much more fair fight than with Francis because Francis is, like, just small and skinny while Krug isn't as big as Tony Goldwyn, but, um... Uh, but he has muscle. They both have muscle to both of them, so it was, like, a much more fair fight and a really uh, interesting fight. Uh, so that's it for positives. On to the negatives, and... Just like the original, I don't like the sexual assault scene. It's a part of the movie. I understand that. 
but it is hard to get through. Other than that, um, the other small negative is uh, it's kind of annoying to have all these random little things happen that you know will come back in the middle of the movie or at the end of the movie. Like, the shower rod falls off. The si oh, the sign is coming up. It tells you when the house turn is coming up. The microwave is broken. Um, Mary is a good swimmer. Like, all those, like, they're kind of annoying because you know, okay, those are going to come back in the movie again. But it does help set up the movie for all of those things. So, I guess it should be a mixed, technically, but uh, it was just a little annoying. But that was a really small negative. In the end, I actually really like this. It's a lot better than the original. Uh, it's way less campy, and the revenge is a whole lot better. So, I'm not going to say I recommend this movie to people, but I actually really like this film. I, Aside from the sexual assault scene... The revenge side is awesome. It's actiony and it's really it's a really compelling movie. I actually kind of like it. So, that's my review on the Last House on the Left remake. Thanks for watching.